9 a.m. and you guys are cooking corn no. dogs? No, Cody's cooking corn dogs for him. For me and him. No. Yeah, got Those are his birthday presents. I need to share with you. Uncle Jared brought him a box of corn dogs that he dropped yes. at the door. <sighs> um, Code, yeah. Cody, I do think that if you're going to have an entire box and cook them, I think everyone can have one. Do you yes. think that's a nice idea? Yes. Because when everyone else gets stuff like that, they have to share too. Have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody, don't you think that's a good idea? Answered me. Yes. Yes, you need to share. Boston building is just for me. Halloween. Oh my gosh, let me see. And she said you wanted it for Halloween. <laughs> that's, and Easter. That's really special. Obviously, not all of our audience is from Utah, but in the state of Utah, they are doing jet flybys from the Hill Air Force Base that's here. So four fighter F-35s, I think maybe, are gonna be flying by all the hospitals. Logan is the very last stop, and obviously it's happening. Check out all the doctors coming out. How cool is that? That's the helicopter pad. But look at all the doctors and nurses and everybody coming out. How cool is that? I feel like we're supposed to do a yell and a shout. Yeah, good for them. They should. They should have everything they want right now. These guys are working really hard. The people are up on top of the parking structure up there. I mean, people are here. The parking lot's driving up here. They were full over there. Just a few people. There's a few people on the back side of that fence. Yep, there's the fire departments here. That's super cool. Hopefully nobody's uh, taking a nap in the hospital. They're gonna wake up in a second, real quick. I don't think you guys have ever seen a flyby, have you? Nope. Before? Um, get ready for your bones to be rattled. When I was a kid, it was like Stadium of Fire always had a flyby. The big baseball games had flybys. This is so cool. It looks like everybody is out here and gathered together in like five minutes. How fun is that? People over in the parking lots. Super fun. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Oh, are you watching this, guys? Oh my gosh. for those guys. They can't hear it, but they appreciate it. We're clapping for these guys, all of our doctors and stuff. That's so cool. Look at them bank clear out there. Can't see it in the camera at all, but they're all making a bank turn now. To come back? No, they'll go back around that way. Let's go down and grab Lady. She heard you come home and she can hear her down there. She's like, oh. She's angry. She's like, Get me out of here. Oh, you should have taken her. <laughs> well, I didn't want to, I don't know. I didn't know how hectic it would be. But it was cool. We walked to the hospital where they flew right over and all the doctors were coming out and Aww. patients. It was really cool. Was it pretty neat? Yeah. It was funny because like the old ones that I remember, flybys, like they'll just rattle your bones. I mean, they take your breath away, you know, because uh -huh. they're so powerful. Yeah. But they kept the jets kind of high <laughs> so that they wouldn't like rattle the hospital to pieces oh, or really? all the patients, I'm sure, because they'd have been like, oh gosh. That's so cool, Joel. Kind of fun. Yeah. Could you hear it at all? No, that's why I was like, I hope that it like went through because mm -hmm. usually that kind of stuff, you can, you can hear it. Yeah. And I didn't hear anything. There were people walking out with like oxygen and IV bags to oh. see it. They were like, we need to see oh, it. So neat. I'm sure Joel already said this, but we've had conversations just like at home feeling so grateful for just the same as everybody, people mm -hmm. that serve our country. I've always always have like a soft spot in my heart for doctors and nurses just because at a young age like I mean I can only imagine how it is for like young young kids but I was young 11 when I was you know in physical therapy and having surgery and stuff and I mean I just always love doctors and nurses and we appreciate the work that you guys are doing mm -hmm. did you already say that um, yes, but I like your version better, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep both. I thought everybody was gonna cheer and clap when they went by. Were you the only one? And nobody did, so I like, I couldn't clap because I was holding the camera, but I whistled as loud as I could. And then there was like then a, a few people kind of clapped, I was like, meh, meh. So you're 
were the only like enthusiastic like, ones. Yay, doctors! They're just like, screw you. We're fighting this. It's terrible. I just cooked up some hamburger, onion, taco seasoning, and then I cut up a, bell, a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. And while it's really hot in there, I'm going to just put the lid on because I don't want the veggies to get too soft. I want to make taco salad for dinner. Moving on from dinner plans, I like to keep these containers full in my cupboard here. I keep these in here for the kids. I need to fill these. Downstairs in the cold room, I have a whole bunch of extras. And then I've got oatmeal for when we do like oats in the morning and yeah I'm kind of running low on a lot of things but I got these little containers from Target and I like them because they they seal and so you can empty your bags of stuff into okay. them and they don't go stale which I really like. Allie and Tylan introduced me to all the cool things when it comes to like food and stuff. These are a little expensive actually. Um, they have no sugar added. They're dark chocolate covered peanuts and almonds. This is why I like them. 1% sodium, less than one gram of sugar, four grams of protein. So. This is, if I'm like needing chocolate, I say chocolate, because this is not like a Snickers bar. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not really selling you on these, because watch how many comes out of here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, so I'll put these in the description. You might, I don't know, if you're interested in a low calorie treat that's, I don't know, whatever. I'm not even gonna try and sell you on this, but this is what I really like. <laughs> I'm literally the worst at my job ever. Um, <laughs> but the containers, the containers are definitely worth it. So I'll make sure to have those in the, in the description for you guys too. And I don't know why it's so oddly satisfying to fill up my container with these. I just love it. Oh. <laughs> okay, well I filled it halfway. <laughs> All right, let's see what you've got for me here. Ooh, thank you so much for Let's thinking of me. me. Now, just to clarify, as you're working, did this wire come from our new house? Mm-hmm. Oh, tiny bit frightening, I don't know but. Why, but she's sitting on me. Ooh, thank you. Mommy, look a lady. <laughs> 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 I just saw something I do not want to see. <laughs> She's not even ashamed. She's like, well, that's that. Okay, Olivia, what did you just get done complaining about? It's so hot outside. Wow, isn't it so hot? How, like, what, how hot is it? What is this? Okay, you guys might think that I'm dumb or weird. It is 69 degrees, and if you ride your bike super hot <laughs> and you have black pants on that are long, it's like 69 degrees and you think that's so hot. Like, You're going to die this summer. I don't want to die. <laughs> I just have some book close bed tonight. No. <laughs> yeah, he like I screams his leg. I want to go and go to bed. Let me lay on your bed. Well, for the last two nights, you kids have not gone to bed. And so you're in trouble. And you're gonna go straight to bed tonight in your he's own bed. bed. Yeah, he's gonna try sneaking on his bed. He's gonna want his leg. Then I'm gonna tell this you don't want me on your bed. Or he'll fake You're not going to do any of that because I'm not going to listen. Or he'll fakely come upstairs and pretend to tell mom and then he comes down and he's like, mom said this. We all do it. Don't worry. We all do it. Boston. <laughs> You're testing my patience. Oh my gosh, I got to go like this. Hey, should we tell everybody what we did all morning? And what's gonna happen the whole rest of summer if you guys keep fighting? They were just being rude to each other and finally I was like, all right, it's work time. So I had to fold every single piece of laundry. Cody kind of helped me put away. <laughs> Is it not very fun to sit here and watch the kids play? What would you rather be doing? Playing with them? Would you rather play with them? You would rather watch? Yeah, I don't think so. We set rules up for Lincoln and then we reminded him of those rules halfway through the day and then at the end of the day did you follow those rules 
No, nope. so Lincoln is not allowed to go outside and play for the rest of today, and we'll work on those rules tomorrow, won't we? Hi, Cody. And that made Lincoln really sad, but we're gonna do better tomorrow, won't we? Or we won't play outside at all, and that's not gonna be a fun summer, is it? So I feel like today I've done a lot of getting after the kids, which is like, it isn't fun, but it also is super necessary. I do feel for them, because they're cooped up just the same way I'm cooped up. It's not even a question if other people can relate to this. <laughs> it's not even a question. I mean, it's just what it is, but today seemed extra hard. I mean, it was like, I wasn't even done correcting the kids with like yelling or fighting or like saying bad words before they were already doing it again. And so <laughs> I got in the car to go grocery shopping a little early, not early, but like I sat in the car before I took off and I Marco Poloed all my sisters and I was just like, wow, today has been one. Like I am so tired of yelling at the kids and I'm tired of correcting the same old things and she was like honey me okay those were my words but not hers <laughs> but she was she said that <laughs> no, i actually improvised with the honey part <laughs> but she was like same she's like landon and i literally sat down last night was like what can we do to not yell at the kids, but to have them correct their behavior. And truthfully, I think the answer is just getting the kids out. Anyway, I just, oh. <laughs> anyway, I just think that it would do all of us a lot of good to just get out a little bit <laughs> more than what we've been doing. Homeschool is no joke. I could never do it on an involuntary basis, that's for sure. I know my sister-in-law loves doing it. She loves doing homeschool. She really does. Ruby has done homeschool for different kids at different periods and I just don't think I could ever do it. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys. Thanks for listening to my little rant here at the end of this vlog. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Bye guys.